Today I'm gonna share what's in my shower. So let's go into shampoo and conditioner. So I have plaque psoriasis on my nape. I feel like I just have a dry scalp in general. I went into melon and goats. This was introduced to me by my friend Satomi. Thank you, Satomi. I think they're a New York based company and they're all they're more on the natural end, so they use natural products. This is our dandruff shampoo. I'm gonna tell you, it doesn't smell that awesome. And it just smells medicated, but eucalyptus extract. I think that's what I smell, the eucalyptus. Oh, it is a very gentle shampoo made for sensitive scalps, but I use a shampoo every other day. It's recommended to use at least twice a week. And because I don't like the scent, of course I need to have a good smelling conditioner. And my go-to is a Bumble and Bumble Creme de Coco. This is one of my classic favorites. And I typically use more conditioner than shampoo anyway, so I always go with the bigger size. So I just leave this on the floor of my shower. It just smells so clean and it makes you want to go to the beach or something. Mm. Next is the soap that I have fallen in love with last year. It's a French word, and I'm probably gonna butcher the sound of it, but Mistral? Mistral? But it's a luxury brand, and I stumbled upon this when I was in Vancouver with Benji. No, we were in Victoria, and I was in a gift shop, and they had these Mistral soaps. And I fell in love with this scent called Lychee Rose. I used up two bars already. I just ordered more from their website because there's not a shop that sells it around me, so I should be getting that soon. But the one I'm using right now is Wild Blackberry. It smells delish, but hands down, lychee rose is the best. Mm. I love me this soap. My mom fell in love with it too, so I ordered her another lychee rose as well. So um, I recommend you guys try it. If you want to splurge on a bar of soap, this is the one you should do so. I mean, it's not even that expensive. It's under $10 and it lasts long. It's triple milled, which means, oh sorry, it's quadruple milled. So it will last longer and it is dense. And also in the shower, I keep my Aveeno Positively Radiant Skin Brightening Daily Scrub. I just use it with these kind of sponges. It's kind of like a gentle exfoliant sponge. Scrub my face to get rid of any leftover makeup. I think this is also catered to sensitive skin. Yeah, gentle enough for everyday use and for sensitive skin. You can use it every day and it's not too harsh on your skin, opposed to something like the apricot scrub. And last is my Revlon. I wanna call it like the foot, foot spa egg, foot egg, foot egg spa, petty, petty egg. I think that's the original brand, but Revlon came out with their own. Every sandal season, my feet get so dry. It's a metal scrub and you just scrub your heel and it gets rid of all of the dead skin. One of the first times I used it, I got a little scrub crazy and ended up scrubbing a little too hard. It wasn't to the point where I was bleeding, but I was in pain like the rest of the week, just even walking and like it was so my skin was so sensitive so go light and easy in the beginning you just a little goes a long way you open it up don't worry there's no dead skin in here why is it so hard to open see this is no good anyway so you open it up and then it traps all the dead skin and then you could throw it away so it's not dead skin flying everywhere it's like 10 bucks at the drugstore it's just good to have in your shower especially during sandal season. All right guys, so that's it for what's in my shower. Please thumbs up if you enjoy this video and also let me know in the comments below what videos you would like to see here on It's Judy Time. Don't forget to check out my other channels. It's Judy's Life where I vlog every day with the family and it's Mommy's Life where I vlog mommy related things. I'll catch you guys later, bye.